Hello and welcome to Uberpad, India's first smart AV e-commerce store. You may have come across the term HDCP in technical specifications of audio and video equipment or any of our previous videos. More specifically, you may have come across HDCP 2.2 in the recent years. So, what is it and what does it do? That is exactly what we're exploring in this video. Before we get into it, please subscribe to our channel. Also, click the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Now, let's dive in. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. It is a form of digital copy protection developed by Intel Corporation to prevent copying of digital audio and video content as it travels across connections. It largely came into being to avoid any unauthorized piracy of copyrighted audio-video content. While the version HDCP 1.0 was introduced in the year 2000, and the latest version 2.3 was introduced in the year 2018, currently the most popular and widely integrated variant is the version 2.2. HDCP version 2.2 is specifically designed to protect 4K content from being pirated. It creates an encrypted system that makes sure that there is a secure connection between the source and the display. It does this by necessitating that an encryption key handshake or an authentication key exchange occurs between the source and the display before the content can be relayed. It is a construct designed by industry stakeholders and device manufacturers in order to prevent or at least try to prevent illegal stealing of content. If you are dealing with non-4K content, then you don't have to worry about HDCP 2.2 at all. This also means that if you don't have HDCP 2.2 compliant sources and receiver and display devices, you cannot play or watch 4K UHD content in HDR. This also goes for every gear in your signal chain such as splitters, switchers, matrix systems, AV receivers and even your soundbar and home theatre systems. In simple words, they all have to be HDCP 2.2 compliant if you want to stream 4K content. Another point to note is that HDCP 2.2 is not only executed over HDMI. It is also available in other popular connection interfaces like DisplayPort, USB, MHL and DVI. Also, you need HDCP 2.2 to stream 4K UHD content from all major online streaming services currently available. Interestingly, HDCP 2.2 is also implemented wirelessly whether it is Miracast, Chromecast, Wi-Di or Wireless HD. It is also important to know that any device that does not support HDCP 2.2 can't be upgraded. To do so, it requires a PCB level hardware component which is the HDCP transmitter and receiver chips. This is why HDCP is not backward compatible with previous HDCP generations. So, what does this all mean for you? Simply put, to enjoy copyrighted content in all its 4K glory, all your AV gear should be HDCP 2.2 compatible. So, make sure that you read the specifications before you buy any new gear. A simple workaround to this is physically bypassing any legacy or non-compatible devices in your audio-video signal chain. There is a silver lining though. If you have purchased your gear in the last one or two years from a reputable brand, you may not face any compatibility issues. We hope this video helped you understand HDCP 2.2 compatibility better. Which topics would you like us to cover next? Use the comment section below to share your thoughts. Finally, if you are looking for a 4K compatible entertainment setup for your home, get in touch with Uberpad support. Thank you for watching.